Hey guys, it is one half Mint Model Horses here, and today I am showing you guys the top 10 models in my collection. So because of quarantine, obviously Hannah isn't here. There's not much explaining to do. We can just get into it. So we're obviously gonna start from number 10 and go up because why would I show you the most exciting thing first? So my number 10 is Bear. Obviously it's not the prettiest horse in my collection, but she was my first bluegrass bandit. I just had to go double check and like fact check that. Um, but she was my first bluegrass bandit, as well as like my first really great show horse. This is her little stack of Nan cards. Black walking horses are like my weakness. Um, I've shown so many walking horses and I wanna say 90% of them are solid black. Yeah, she's a really good representation of the breed also because as I just said, most walking horses are solid black. Um, Tons of world ground champions. I know there are a lot of colors in the breed. Obviously, I own a spotted saddle horse who's triple registered as a Tennessee walking horse also. So the, the breed registry with the colors is really loose. So next is Shannon Dell. I think that he is just gorgeous. I think his color is just perfect. I, I don't think you guys can see the dapples on the camera. Sorry if my horses are dusty. You'd think quarantine you'd have time to dust, but I just don't. <laughs> um, he is just gorgeous and I got him in an awesome trade for my Deco Surprise Horse from last year. I traded him for and ever since I got him I just am like wow this horse is awesome. I don't love the loose mane. I do have, oh Marcus is all the way over here. Um, I do have Marcus which has the loose mane but I do like this braided mane much much more so. I think I know why I forgot him because I don't like touching my glossies. Oh my gosh. Yeah you can tell I don't like touching my glossies. So next is Mere Woods. I never thought I would own a Briar Webb special. <laughs> and this guy came out last year. I entered every single day for him. Obviously, look what mold he's on. And obviously I didn't win him. I got him for about his selling price at Briar Fest. And he's just gorgeous, you can tell in this lighting. And um, I think he's just a lovely color. I would love to see this color on Hamilton someday. So here's my first web special. And then actually later that day at Briarfest, I ended up buying I'm Yours, who is also a web special. Isn't gonna show up in this video, but she could definitely make it my top 10. I just didn't want to put too many bluegrass bandits because I love my bluegrass bandits a lot. This guy is the 15 surprise horse, the Quell Surprise. This guy was my favorite color. I'm not gonna lie, I know he's the most pop, like the most popular as in like there's the most made of him. And obviously people want the rarer ones. But I think this guy is just gorgeous. I took pictures of him the other day. The main reason he's in this video is because he was my first Briarfest special run that I bought from the store line. Because I didn't get any special runs in 2014. Because I was dumb. And yeah, so this guy made it in my top 10. Six, number six is Pomplemousse. Um, if you know me, if you've been my friend since I started collecting, you know I was just obsessed with this horse. I, like, as a kid, I was just like, this is the prettiest thing that Briar has ever made. And I can see why younger me thought that. I really, really like this guy still, obviously. And he will probably never leave. He is very nice. He's one of the nicer ones. Um, I've seen a lot of them that have like this halo shading around his Sabino markings. Mine doesn't have anything like that. Um, what mine does have are these hairs on his back, but obviously I don't care. Othello doesn't show well anymore anyway. And he was the first horse, if you guys watch our videos, I think we've talked about it before, how he um, was my first purchase of 2015. We bought him before we even got into our Clarion room. My number, I believe this is number five is my glossy fluoride misty my first model in my collection i mean you can't get rid of your first model <laughs> i wouldn't get rid of her anyway um she's really special to me because she was my mom's horse and now she's mine i'll show you that she's the fluoride there you go she's glossy not only is she my first model but she's also a really cool part of hobby history with all the misty variations four number four is nicodemus his stone name is Nicodemus. I think there's like probably a hundred made. I don't know. Um, that's not the point with him. <laughs> the point is he was my first um, stone walker and my first stone period. He is also a fabulous show horse. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Yeah, this guy is my first stone walker. I now have five, but I'm 
going to get six, which I can't spoil that for you guys, but um, I will have six by the time that our Briarfest haul videos come out. So he um, he actually qualifies for a Nan Merit Award. These, there's about 15 of them. I'm very happy with him. He doesn't have a unique breed or anything, but um, it's cool that the old stones can still stand up against the new ones that are just crazy. I have another one that probably should have been in this video. Um, it's a Van Gogh, but I do kind of want to do a separate video on him. Next is my glossy Appaloosa Dark Horse Surprise, who I don't know if you can tell that's glossy. I know I hate touching my glossies, but he's all white, so it's not that huge of a deal. This is my first glossy surprise horse. Um, not only is he glossy, but he is just beautiful as well. After five, this would... The year that I pulled him was my fifth Briarfest. After five Briarfests, I finally got this guy. He ended a very bad Briarfest for me um, in a great way. Let me, let me say something. I love all the models in my collection, okay? But there's a lot of horses that could have made it in this top 10, but these top 10 I selected because they are more special to me. Well, this, this one that I'm holding is just something that is very special in my collection so not as sentimental but it's just very special to me <laughs> i'm gonna show you you guys probably already guessed it but blue velvet um i already said that i didn't want to have too many bluegrass bandits in this video there was two other bluegrass bandits that i was debating but blue velvet is my first connoisseur she's the most i've ever spent on a model she's insanely gorgeous the bride and joy of my collection pretty much. Um, I don't have a ton of special models. She's just something that I never thought I would own. Also cool thing, she's 100 of 350 which made me very satisfied. She's the last thing that I really needed to complete, complete my obtainable Bluegrass Bandit Conga. Obviously people on Instagram have all that raz and a few of them have Devil's Food. Um, Devil's Food is my number one horse that Briar has ever made, even above Oaks. I love Blue Vel or I love Devil's Food more than Oaks. Um, and then all that Raz, I really want to get by the end of this year so I can complete my obtainable Bluegrass Bandit Conca because Devil's Food is just unobtainable. I can't spend $4,000 on a horse. Last but not least is my Champagne Wishes. I traded her for my glossy Big Checks to Cash. There's 350 made of her and she came out in Briar Fest 2014. When I saw this horse, I wrapped my pants. She's gorgeous and she was way too expensive for me as a little girl who had just started collecting and had been collecting for maybe two years by the time that this girl came out. To be like my fifth or sixth bluegrass bandit, I now have 15, but this girl is just drop dead gorgeous. And she made it in my number one spot because she was my first horse that like is really, really super detailed. Um, obviously glossy big checks to cash is not one that you see super often, but neither is this girl. Obviously has way more detail than him. I don't post her on my Instagram very often, but she is up there. It may come as a surprise, but I do like her more than Blue Velvet because of her color. I just find her color a little bit more realistic. Obviously Blue Velvet is just, they're my babies. I love all the models in my collection. There's obviously some I think could have made it in this top 10. <laughs> 